Have you ever met someone they just suck the life out of you, just zap you dry? Debbie Downer, Donald Downer. It could be a friend, it could be a coworker, it could be a family member. God forbid you're married to this type of individual. Well, I had the pleasure or displeasure of speaking to this type of individual on the phone a few days ago. Can't wait to tell you what happened. You ready? Let's go. Find something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. I am Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, and social worker. Today's video is about how to not absorb negative energy. Hit subscribe and hit like. I create content to inspire others, and I hope my trials and tribulations can help you. So this time I want to talk about how to get around these negative people that we label energy vampires. They just suck the life out of you. At my HR job, I speak with active employees, but a bundle of retirees, mostly retirees. Some are pleasant, professional. Some are kind of rude, but most are definitely pleasant. Some are calling in deaths. You know, maybe their spouse passed so they have to make that call and I treat each call with care. Not to mention I'm being recorded, so. But nevertheless, it's sensitive matters, so I try to be patient and compassionate. Recently, I had an individual call, an elderly guy who needed an address updated. He called our company, so I'm going to explain to him how this is going to go because you need my help, right? So he begins to tell me how to do the job and he was just rude. I'm not sure what was going on with him and I know he was older because of course I see his date of birth, but I have 95 year olds that call that are super pleasant and 50 some year olds that call that can be a little jerky. So age doesn't matter. Long story short, this guy went on to say, I give you my condolences because I'm older than you and you're stuck here on this earth and I'll probably be long gone. Well now, recorded line or not, you've entered into my world. So I had to let him have it in a good way. I said, no condolences are needed here for all is well. He chuckles. <laughs> so all is well with you, huh? And I'm thinking you damn skippy. But I said, of course it is, because I'm a positive person and I'm not concerned about the cares of this world. He didn't know what to do with me. So let me explain something to you all. Of course, I'm concerned about the shootings and pedophiles and evilness and racism and poverty and homelessness. I'm a social worker. That's all we do is fight for injustice. We fight for those that are underserved. So that part I am in tune with. However, the individual, Tammy Sharice is my middle name, Walker. She does not live a life of fear, lack, doubt. And I don't let other people disrupt my flow. For I juice in the morning, journal, pray, read my Bible, watch positive YouTube videos, meditate, take my vitamins, exercise. I do eight things to stay positive and I still get an F some days. I still stumble and fall, but I would not let a miserable caller tell me how things are going to go for my life, you see. And my heart breaks every time it's a shooting, every time someone is kidnapped and killed, Every time someone is shot and killed in Chicago, my hometown, my heart breaks. I have feelings just like everybody else, but I have to decide, am I going to live in fear, lack, and think that my life should be over? Or I shouldn't want to exist in this world because there are evil people or bad things are happening. Bad things have been happening since the beginning of time. 
And although it gets scary on this earth, although it gets weary and you feel disturbed sometimes, we have to hold on to what we know, which is our faith. And we have to hold on to good things you see. So condolences are not needed because I'm not dead. No one has died. So I would not accept negative energy from anyone. When someone is hurting or bitter or negative or doubtful or believe in fear and lack, they will try to bring that energy and drama to you. But I want you today to stand firm on your faith and what you believe in and be the bigger person. You take the higher road and let them know that all is well, for all is truly well. Even if you've lost your job, all is well, because you're going to get a new one. Even if you're fighting an illness, all is well, because I need you to believe that you will be healed. Even if you're lonely and you're waiting on that wife and that husband, all is well, for they are coming. Even if you want to have kids and you're having fertility trouble, try to relax, for all is well, you will get your son or daughter. All is well because you're going to open your business. All is well because you will finish school. All is well because you can walk and talk and you have somewhere to live and you have income. And you have a family that loves you. And you have friends that care. All is well. So you see, when that negative caller calls you and when that negative relative speaks to you, you tell them all is well because we are not going to absorb anyone's negative energy because we are in control of our mind, body, and soul. Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit like for me, share, and subscribe. I will be coming with more videos. I've been making my videos a little bit more frequently. I'm just getting a kick out of this. Just living life, you all, day by day, learning the lessons with you, sharing them with you, and I'm viewing your videos too. We learn it together. Bye-bye.